Excuse me, sir. You're uh, under arrest for uh, breaking reality and entering unlawfully into someone else's property. I don't think he's conscious. Lock him up. What the? How'd I end up in jail? Hmm. Well, I guess I'm here to atone for my sins of reflection. That being said, while I was in that state, I believe I remember a game series I held dear to my heart. And I needed to convince somebody to play it. You know, Ace Attorney is already a hard selling point for a lot of people as, as my elevator pitches, hey, do you want to play this courtroom drama with gameplay equivalent to a reading comprehension test? I know, it's a hard sell for the average gamer, but the games are worth your time. Now, if I were to tell you the 1900s British spin-off duology was some of the best this series had to offer, would you believe me? The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles is absolutely phenomenal, and it should be a crime for how little it's sold, but I also understand why. Ace Attorney will always be a great series, but a spin-off duology released way after the initial hype the franchise had, starring a completely brand new cast in a new time period? Yeah, I can see why this didn't sell as well. But, these games are amazing, and so today, I will convince you to play them. The Great Ace Attorney is an incredible adventure starring the wonderful Ryunosuke Naruhoto as he travels from Britain to Japan, wait, other way around, to become a lawyer during the oh-so-delightful Victorian era, and along the way, he meets a wacky cast of colorful characters ranging from a brooding alcoholic to someone whose name rhymes with Sherlock Holmes. You'll spend your time finding contradictions in witnesses' statements alongside new elements introduced in this duology. You're sure to have quite a blast. Are you still not sold on it? Okay, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I will divide the different aspects of this game into a few sections with music and art style, gameplay, and story. Let's start with the gameplay. The gameplay of the Great Ace Attorney is, of course, somewhat similar to the other Ace Attorney games. However, this duology introduces new mechanics alongside some good accessibility features. If you're unfamiliar with Ace Attorney gameplay, it's akin to a reading comprehension test with a bit more melodrama. This game adds a few more interesting aspects, though, with the dance of deduction with the local detective darling Herlock Sholmes, where you look for items around a 3D environment to explain the peculiar situations you find yourself in. There's also the new jury system introduced, which seems to be somewhat carried over from the Professor Layton crossover spin-off. I never played this one, but I assume it's decent. This jury system will have you mixed between depressed that the judicial system is getting kids on the stand and depressed that there's the same five members for the 52nd time. It is a pretty interesting addition, however. Having Mr. Naro Hodo on his knees begging for a second chance, and it also breaks up some of the other gameplay. Overall, I find the gameplay in this game to do what the main series does, but just generally more polished. Probably from the fact that, you know, this game is like, what, the tenth entry into this series? Don't worry, you can still start here if you're new. With it being a logic game, it tends to be a tough balance to make sure you're feeling like you're solving the mysteries while not being babied along, but also not feeling lost. And I don't think there were any moments in this game where I felt lost, but also not many moments where it felt like the story was dragging its feet to get to a point that I had already thought of, so it's pretty damn good if I do say so myself. There's also a lot of subtle quality of life features that make it significantly less frustrating to play, from the subtle hints by your investigation partner to the brand new story mode for people who just want the visual novel part of Ace Attorney, it makes it really nice to experience the story. I'll say, they've gotten really good with the Ace Attorney system and it really seems as if it's at its best, and that doesn't just go over the gameplay, but for everything else too. This is where I transition into- The Great Ace Attorney knocks it out of the park with the art style and the music. It's absolutely, well, absolutely gobsmacking. And I mean it. Look at any one of these environments and they just draw you in. Add the music and you're practically there. Am I overselling it? Listen man, this chill is rough, I need anything to cling on to here. The music is an absolute delight. Coming from the other Ace Attorney games, the turn to mostly analog instruments provided a very different vibe than what I was familiar with, but these tracks have grown to become some of my favorite of the entire series. From the slow day of a Londoner, to the tense scenes of the courtroom, to the absolutely outstanding summonation examination theme, it all comes together in a way that feels very Ace Attorney, in a new way. Asumasa Kitagawa and others behind the OST put some magic into this, because there isn't a single track that isn't immediately immersive. 
character wise, I mean, come on, it's Ace Attorney. They're all delightfully kooky and expressive as ever, and with the 3D models, it really allows them to do so much more with the characters than seen before. On a side note, all of the behind the scenes character art you get in the bonus section of this game is so fascinating and I love learning about the different routes taken for the different characters depicted. I'll say, the art direction is basically perfect. To be honest, I think the only thing I feel somewhat mixed on is honestly the animated cutscenes in the first game. This complaint is more so retrospective, as in The Great Ace Attorney 2, instead of opting for specially animated cutscenes, they did all of the animation in engine, mainly due to budget restraints, and I'll say, I think I prefer how they did it in the second one. It fits the rest of the game just a tad bit more, in my humble opinion. But everyone on this team did a stellar job at reflecting the time period depicted, and it's reflected in all the little details that add together to create something truly special. Now, I know I've basically been gushing non-stop, because I am trying to sell you, yes you, the specific person watching this right now, to play this game. Seriously, even if you've never played an Ace Attorney game before, I'd argue this is a good place to start. So start, gosh darn it! You're still not sold on the game yet? Well then, it's time to jump into the story. The Great Ace Attorney Adventures by itself has a decent story. If you beat this first game and leave there, you'll probably leave satisfied ish. But there are a lot of things in this game that do not get resolved until the second, and while that's better for the second game, it does overall weaken the strength of this one by itself. Now, to be fair, if you're playing this game past the year 2021, you're probably playing the duology. However, the credits still roll when you beat the first game, so I'm counting it as separate. Now, I know it might seem as if I'm giving shit to this first game, because I am. I'm going to do my best to avoid any major spoilers while talking about this, but if you want to go into this game without any story information whatsoever, you might just want to stop here and get in. Are we good? Great. The story of this game is like a roller coaster, like all of the roller coaster, from getting in line to getting in the seats to slowly going up the hill, and then after all the build up, the drop happened. I'm not gonna pretend like it's an easy start. I'll say the first two chapters of this game feel incredibly slow to me, and I could not get into it. Honest. If you're willing to take the time past the slow beginning though, it absolutely pays off by chapter 3. Which I know, probably sounds like I'm pitching you some long ass anime, but trust me, it's got a crazy story that's absolutely worth the investment. I'll also have you know the cast of this game is phenomenal. There's nobody here who feels like they've got one shtick and that's their character, but it also feels like there's a lot to these silly goobers as well, enhanced by those fantastic 3D models. This story is able to have some really solemn and serious moments while still having some delightfully goofy moments as well. I can't pretend it isn't a fun time. Like seriously, it's just delightful. Again, as stated earlier, you kind of have to play both of these games for a complete experience, because if you only finish the first one, you are going to end up unsatisfied and with a million questions. On its own, though, The Great Ace Attorney Adventures is a pretty good game. There's a reason this game is packaged with a sequel, and you should play that too, dog damn it. At this point, you're probably thinking, why not just talk about both games if they're so linked to each other? And I mean, generally, I have, but... I don't need to sell you on the second part of this duology because you'll already be sold by part 1. The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve is my favorite Ace Attorney game for sure, but when I talk about that one, I'd like to analyze it more than sell it. The problem is, there are not enough people who've played it, so that's my goal here, to get you to check it out. In conclusion, this duology re-release was a labor of love, and you can tell by the stories of Yasuyuki Makino who wanted this duology to get more attention, who wanted there to be more eyes on it, because he believed it was one of the greatest pieces of mystery entertainment in the world. And you know what? I agree with him on that. This shit goes hard as fuck. So I'm asking you, and you specifically, to check this duology out. That can be through buying it, or watching a YouTuber play it, or whatever else. This game just deserves so much more attention, because we need more of this. More stories that challenge the franchises they've come from. Stories that don't rely on references, but instead bolster themselves to higher heights than ever seen before. We need more of that. So check this duology out, gosh darn it. Anyway, I'm still stuck in jail. I should probably call a lawyer or something, huh? Thank you.